Hi, I'm Mitch Allen, Field Development Officer with New Farm. Teridor is our new Group 14 spike herbicide, the active ingredient Tiafenacil. It has key activity on a range of important broadleaf weeds and more importantly, it has true grass activity, a unique feature in the Group 14 space. Uh, g'day, I'm Mark Cooney from New Farm, Business Development Manager for York Peninsula and Air Peninsula. Here with Troy Johnson today from YP Ag at Yorktown. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Troy. Yeah, well, I've been the agronomist uh, for the southern part of the York Peninsula for over 20 years. So I've got a fair bit of experience in the area. Um, and we're a big lentil growing area. So yeah, we've had a lot of experience with that. And uh, we've got some pretty challenging conditions at times. Tell us a little bit about your experience with Teridor, Troy. Yeah, this year was the first year we really got to use a, a lot of Teridor throughout the area. And um, yeah, we had a really good really good run with it, um, particularly uh, prior to sowing lentils. It was uh, very good. We had uh, quite a few weeds that were getting a little bit of size about them and um, that's why we went with the Teridor and it's done a fantastic job. What was probably the most standout thing you liked about it? Uh, the control of the larger marshmallows and uh, probably cape weeds were probably where it really stood out. Did it offer fast and effective control of the broadleaf weeds? It was uh, very quick. It was surprisingly uh, quick. We wanted to knock those down, weeds down uh, as soon as possible and the, yeah, the Teridor certainly done the job. And any specific weeds that you saw was most beneficial on over others? Uh, it, was, it was mainly the marshmallow and particularly the medic as well. well normally we would use a uh, alternative product for the medics uh, prior to the lentils and we went with the Teridor and certainly uh, met our expectations. It was very good. And the short plant backs that we've got on the label, how do you feel about those and what benefits do they bring to you? Oh, they were critical, I think, in, um, in, in its fit because we, lentils being lentils, they don't like any sort of re residues as, they, as they're emerging and establishing. So we, we definitely do need a product with those really short plant backs and particularly with the Teridor and being only an hour, it's, yep. um, yeah, it's quite good because Farmers being farmers, they get, get themselves under a bit of pressure and yeah, they don't want to be waiting for anything and Teridor's got a good fit there. And did you see any grass activity uh, through your use patterns? Uh, not not in, in particular, it's certainly a, a major consideration for us. We've got a lot of glyphosate resistance uh, creeping into the area. So maybe in the future, it's going to be um, a significant factor if we can get a bit of extra grass, uh, ryegrass control uh, particularly those ones that are a bit suspect for uh, resistance, I think it's going to yeah. be a, a pretty good fit. And your mixed partners, your tank mixed partners, what have you been throwing the Teridor in with? Uh, it's mainly been crucial. Yeah. Uh, it's probably been our number one tank mixed partner and uh, it's got a very good fit, those two. Yep. Uh, and in general, I guess, how did the Teridor compare to other Group 14s and your experience with uh, the Group 14s that you have been using historically? Uh, so, Carfentrazone has been a probably a major uh, Group 14 in the past. And um, we've just noticed that in the last few years when we put it under a bit of pressure, it has probably been not many expectations. And, and to be honest, there's been a lot of other Group 14s come through over the years and uh, they've been probably uh, a little bit underwhelming yep. up, uh, up until now. And it's good to see that something like Teridor has come through to uh, probably give us that option that we were looking for. So you'll obviously be recommending it as you go forward. It'll become a pretty key plank to your uh, yeah, recommendations. I think so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's such a big lentil growing area, and it's got such a good fit in that use pattern that I can see it, uh, yeah, rapidly um, becoming part of the program and in, in most of the guys around here. I think. Yeah, for sure. And you mentioned calf zone earlier. Is there any other spike products that you'll be replacing with it? Uh, yeah, well, like the sharpened types. I think, um, yeah, they, they have, they've had a good fit and uh, I think uh, it will be a direct competitor to maybe those. And uh, just with its price point, I think it's probably got an advantage. 